Hello, I'm Jill. This is ASL Stu Life. So, 38 weeks pregnancy update. Today I'm 38 weeks and 4 days, so it's a little bit late, sorry. I'm trying to film over the weekend, but then a lot was going on, and I just totally forgot, to be honest. But anyways, I'm going to tell you what the actual baby measurements are, but I'll explain why. Well, the length, I don't know. So I think this week the baby could be anywhere from 18 inches to 20 inches, I believe. Um, but the weight is 8 pounds, 8 ounces. So 8-8. Eight, eight. I know. <laughs> I'll explain. So recently on Thursday, I had my OB appointment and I decided not to get a cervical check. It's not necessary. Really, it's just informing me if I'm dilated more or not. And to be honest, it's no big deal. Plus, like I mentioned, um, it can introduce bacteria. So I didn't get checked. One problem that I had, though, is the doctor was checking my fundal height, and it was still 35, and at that day, I was exactly 38 weeks. So, let's see, last, well, two weeks ago, when I was 37 weeks, I was measuring 35, and then this week, well, this past Thursday, I was 38 weeks, and I was still measuring 35. So, the doctor said, well, that's three weeks behind, so to speak. So let's go ahead and get an ultrasound, what's called a growth scan, to check and see maybe if the baby's small. And if the baby is small, then there's a possibility maybe we would have to induce early because obviously it's better the baby's outside than inside if they're not growing. So of course, I was really concerned and the doctor didn't seem like it was a big deal. But of course, I started crying after she left the room. But the heartbeat was really good, still 140s, 150s, same as it always has been, so that was no issue. Um, other than that, really nothing else happened with the OB. So then that evening, that Thursday evening, that was Star Wars uh, opening night. So my friend had bought us some tickets for that, uh, me and Jenna, and I was concerned, but there's nothing I could do because she said, well, you can have the ultrasound either that next day, Friday, or Monday, but the place was already closed, so I couldn't call to set up an appointment. So anyways, we'd have to wait until the next morning. So the two of us went and picked up dinner and drove over, parked really early, I think like an hour and a half early at the theater, um, just because we wanted to make sure we got good parking, because obviously I am not able to walk really far, but anyways, I'll explain. So... We got there, we were eating our dinner in the car, and I was starting to have a lot of lower back pain like, and really bad stomach pain. Not contractions, but just like a lot of pain. And I was getting concerned. I'm like, oh, I hope this is not the start of labor and I'm going to start during the movie because I know Jenna really wanted to see it, you know. And obviously she mentioned if anything were happening, we could put it off. But I was like, no. <laughs> so we go in and I had to sit. The whole time I couldn't stand, I was in way too much pain in my back, and I kept checking in the bathroom to make sure there was anything, but there was nothing. We got into the theater, and the entire time, I would say, what, I don't know, two hours or whatever the movie was, I was in so much pain in my stomach and my back and back and forth, and finally, the movie got done. I was like, yes, did it. Got home, tried to go to sleep, and then I woke up in the morning uh, the next morning when I woke up, I was fine. There was no problem. And since then, I really haven't had, well, a little bit of pain, but not bad like before. So I guess false alarm. Uh, anyways, the next day, Friday, um, the ultrasound place opened at 8.30. So I called right away, got an appointment for 9.30. Awesome. Luckily, uh, work was slow that day, thankfully. And I went, the woman did the ultrasound. We got to see a few things. Um, she did all the measurements, all of that, said the baby's moving a lot, and we couldn't see the face. The baby wouldn't let us, of course, but we got to see its little ear, and it has some hair. Looks kind of like that. Really cute. Anyways, after that, then she said she's going to go, figure out all the measurements, came back, and she was like, actually, the baby's approximately 8 pounds, 8 ounces in the 90th 
percentile. I was like, whoa. <laughs> so I guess it's big, it's not small, maybe. So that just kind of tells you that like the, the fundal height, the measurement's not always the best. Oh, also she said that the fluid was good. Everything was perfectly fine, no problem there. So that was pretty much the last thing that happened was this past Friday since then. I've been having a lot of vaginal pain. It feels like somebody like punched the outside of my vagina and it's like bruised or something. I have no idea. But when I get up and walk around, so painful. Not like lightning crotch, but like just pain, like bruised. So that's probably my main symptom. I've had a little bit of hormonal crying, but really it's pretty normal other than that. Just kind of waiting now. So that's the update. And I will see you hopefully at 39 weeks if the baby's still here. So now, belly shot. Alright, well that is everything. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you liked it, click like. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when new videos come out. If you want to provide support, we have three ways. ASL Stew Merch Store, buying shirts or stickers, which would be cool. Uh, Patreon for a monthly donation with cool perks. Or Ko-fi for a one-time any amount donation. We really appreciate all your support. Thanks so much and see you in the next video. Bye!